Hi guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mithun and in this YouTube tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can edit your screenshots using Snagit screen recordings and screen editing software. So without any further ado, let's get started. I actually prefer using Pepo Cloud. So if you want a software that has a lot of options and uh, can easily be configured without uh, going through all these uh, complicated tasks, you can pretty much uh, get started with Pepo Cloud by going to pepocloud.com. As you can see, I have already opened up the Snagit uh, uh, screen capture and recording uh, wizard and I have amazon.com on my screen. So I'm going to quickly uh, grab a portion of the screen that I want to edit. And uh, in order to do that, I'm just going to click on the, I'm going to select uh, the image option and then I'm going to select the region option from the selections and uh, I'm going to keep the effects as none and uh, share options as none. And then I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to click the capture button and it will open up this uh, crosshair that I can actually use to configure the area that I want to capture. In this particular uh, screenshot, I just want to capture this area in which I have the product image and uh, the basic detail of the product. And as soon as I uh, select and uh, release the option, it will actually show up this particular uh, screen in the editor. This is how you can actually edit the screenshot after it is taken using the Snagit uh, screen capture software. In order to actually edit the particular screenshot, all you have to do is either uh, use all the options available here or you can actually uh, even uh, go to this particular uh, menu and uh, select the options from this particular area. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can actually edit uh, using various features available in Snagit as of now. First of them is adding a shape which actually highlights the title of this particular uh, product. And I'm going to highlight a particular section in that title so that people who actually come to my blog and read my articles are uh, able to uh, differentiate which particular thing I want to highlight. So I'm going to use the shape option here and I'm going to select a, a red a border, a red box with just outline border and I'm going to remove the shadow from here and uh, I'm just going to keep the borders a bit rounded. And uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, now I'm going to highlight this 64 my, uh, 64 uh, MICR ring cartridge and uh, so now i'm just gonna highlight this uh, particular hp 63 ms black uh, and uh, make sure that it is placed in the right position and uh, that's uh, pretty much it and as you can see now it is uh, pretty much highlighted and people who come to my blog are able to see what i want to actually convey now, if I want to make it more obvious, I can use the arrow uh, arrow tool to actually draw an arrow. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the arrow to actually create an arrow on my screen. And uh, now I can actually uh, play around with the width. So in this particular tutorial, I'm going to reduce the width a bit. So it actually matches the border width of the particular call out that I had it earlier. And now the third thing is that I want to actually insert a text for this particular tutorial's uh, demonstration purpose. And in order to add text, all I have to do is click on this A uh, icon on the top of the software and uh, go to this particular area where the text options are available. By default, I don't want to use any shadow, so I'm gonna remove that and uh, then I'm gonna drag this particular option in which there is no shadow and there is nothing else. And I'm gonna just uh, click on my screen and drag to actually enable that. And then I'm going to type in uh, whatever I want on the screen and uh, it will appear as the text. Let's say sample text. Now, if you look at it, it is a really large piece of text that doesn't actually go well with the tutorial. And I'm also going to change the color of this particular text. You can actually leave it at red and it would actually match with everything that you have on screen. So I'm going to leave it at red. You know what? It looks good. So now these three things are the most used uh, sort of editing tools on Snagit software. Now what if I want to actually trim out this particular portion? 
I can easily do that by bringing in this particular border inside and it will actually eliminate everything that's uh, not actually inside that particular perimeter. After the edit is done, I can also use some other advanced features such as uh, blur tool to actually blur out things that I don't want to be visible on the screen. Let's say that I don't want this uh, brand Versa, Versa ink visible on the screen. I can actually hide that using this particular option. As you can see now the information is completely hidden. Uh, there are various versions of the blur effect and pixelator. There are various versions of the blur effect and the pixelate option that you can play around with. Once you are happy with it, you can actually uh, pretty much uh, insert it here. One option that I love about the uh, love about uh, Snagit is that it comes with the step option. This is a unique option that I haven't seen in many other software. In order to use that, uh, you can actually click on the step option here and then you will see that there is a quick styles option appearing in and I'm going to select the industrial one because it looks professional and uh, really goes well with the uh, theme of the screenshot that I've taken and I'm going to select the black one. Now I can actually add it here and then it will automatically number the things and uh, I can actually place it anywhere and it will create a beautiful green screenshot where uh, people will be able to understand the first step uh, is that one and the second st step is this one and uh, so on and so forth. So it actually helps uh, you in creating really great and illustrated sort of like screenshot. And if you don't want to uh, show the one, two, three steps, you can actually use uh, uh, ABC or the small caps ABC if you want. So that's a great thing to have. After that, there are other options as the eraser option that you can use to actually erase anything that's on the screen. Let's say that uh, you can uh, you don't want to actually uh, uh, have this particular thing visible on the screen. So I'm going to increase the uh, width of the eraser and I'm going to just uh, erase this particular thing from the screen. Now, it may look weird right now because uh, right now it is transparent and there is nothing away. Uh, visible on that particular area but uh, once you export the image it will be a black white background so you won't have any problem with that now uh, you can also use a lot of other things uh, like stamp feature that uh, i actually use to insert uh, icons into the screenshot let's say that i want to ins insert uh, some icon here i can do that easily without breaking a sweat and there are so many things that you can play with you can even use advanced features and advanced icons for free once you pay for the software yeah you heard that right this is a premium software which means that you have you'll have to pay for it and once you pay for it you'll have a pretty powerful software that you can use to uh, design extremely uh, beautiful screenshots and uh, that looks professional and are re really really amazing thing now the interesting feature that i want to play around with is that uh, there is a feature called simplify it is actually used by designers to see the basic layout of the screenshot and i'm going to show you what it does so in the uh, more option there you will have you will have a simplify option just select the simplify option and uh, head over to auto simplify option in and uh, toggle this button to on and as you can see the automatic uh, simplify option has actually uh, blacked out every detail that was on the screen which is a very great option and uh, if i want to actually increase the amount of black tape that is added to all the details it can actually add all the details and it will be uh, deleted and everything will look really professional so if you are in uh, need for such a such a particular thing you can actually use that without breaking a sweat so that was my tutorial for uh, snagit uh, editor and how you can edit your screenshots in snagit let me know in the comment section below if you have any doubts please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will see you in my next tutorial till then take care and bye bye